Hi friends. Today we have to discuss a very important point from our first topic that is the rotational dynamics that is conical pendulum. Remember that in board examination there are question on the same point. Theoretical question for three marks and here may be question on basis of numericals that is based on that form. That is numerical for three marks or two marks, and there are also this conical pendulum. There are some point in your practical examination. In practical examination, there are one activity on the base on the same point. That is conical pendulum. First, remember that what is meant by that conical pendulum. In this conical pendulum, there are some material are used. That material are here are given a rigid support. This is the rigid support are used. Next, there are used a string and there are used a small valve or small sphere to tie this string at that lowermost position. Okay. And after that, when we pull that valve to this side and release that valve, what happens? The valve is moved to and fro of yeah, at the middle position or in that. And four uh, position along the middle position. Okay, same point are given in the this diagram. Okay, next remember here are given the inertial and a non-inertial frame of reference. In our last lecture, we already discussed about that non-inertial and inertial frame of reference. First, remember that what is mean by the conical pendulum? What is mean by conical pendulum? Here are given that. A simple pendulum. That is very very simple. That is very simple pendulum, which is given such motion that the bob describe a horizontal circle. That means in that case, here are the example the bob. The bob describes a horizontal direction. That is here are given the horizontal circle. Then this is the bob, and the bob is rotated in which direction or in uh, which part? That is the circular part. Which part are there? Are circular part are described by this ball, and the second, the string describe a cone. When the ball is rotated in the circular motion, there are formation of a cone. There are formation of a cone, and that cone there are to describe a cone. It's called a conical pendulum. Very very simple. Remember only there are two concepts are very important. That the ball describe. The circle, or they are given that the horizontal circle. The bob describes the horizontal circle, and when the bob describes the horizontal circle, the string make an angle, and that angle they are that is called as cone, and the cone is called a conical pendulum. That is very very simple point. Remember always, but in that case there are some other components are also present. Which component? That is the vertical as well as horizontal component. Which component are here? Here are given in that. Remember, in the board examination, the theoretical point for one marks or half marks, and the remaining equation is for two marks. That is, this half marks, half marks for diagram, and the remaining equational part is for two marks. That is total three marks. Okay. First, remember the theory of that equation. First, here are given in the displaced position at B. There are two forces. When the ball or this ball is displaced to this side or this side, there are position of B. Here are shown that the position is B at a displaced position B. There are two forces. Which two forces are present? Here are given the weight here, which is vertically downward. We already discussed about that point in our last lecture. The weight always in downward direction because the mass here is here is the mass and the g is the gravitational force and the gravitational force is always downward direction. Hence, there are given the first point that is the weight m g vertically downward. Very simple point are given. Second point, which is the second point, the tension t zero acting upward. That means. The weight mg is balanced by the tension. That means here are given the 
EMG. And the EMG is balanced by which force here are given the tension T0. That is the tension of T0 acting vertically or that is upward direction, vertically upward direction. That means which is act vertically, that is upward direction. The way downward direction and the tension is upward direction, weight EMG is the downward direction. Okay, next they are given the another force. The second point are given that the tension T0 resolved into two components. This tension, that is this tension is resolved into two components. Which two components? Here are given that component first, that is T0 cos theta vertically upward. That is T0 cos theta, that is vertically upward direction and the T0 sin theta horizontally towards the center that is this T0 sin theta T0 sin theta horizontally horizontally means what is meant by horizontal that is parallel to the C level that is horizontal position that means this is parallel to this that is horizontal position and that is horizontally T0 sin theta that is horizontal component and the vertical component is given that T0 cos theta which is acted upward direction here are given the T0 cos theta is upward direction and the second is the T0 sin theta which is horizontally toward the center but in that case there are forces uh, there are other forces also acted which forces are acted for balance is that remember here are given that the T0 cos theta here are also shown that T0 cos theta and here are given the T0 sin theta that is vertical component remember only two components are there first is the vertical component one is the horizontal component first that is the T0 cos theta which is the vertical component and T0 sin theta which is the horizontal component first T0 sin theta which is balances by the centripetal force here are given that towards the center and which is balanced by which forces are formed there with rotation there are formation of the centripetal force that is T0 sin theta which is balanced that is equal to centripetal force you will know that in our last part we already studied about that the formula of centripetal force is given here are given m r omega sphere that is our first equation remember that from diagram there are many really two components are very important first is the vertical component that is this is the vertical component and second is the horizontal component vertical component that is t0 cos theta and horizontal component is t0 sin theta that is t0 sin theta which is balanced by the centripetal force given by m r omega square that is our first equation and what is the second equation the vertical component t0 cos theta which is balances the downward force which force are downward there everyone know that the weight mg is the downward direction that means this t0 cos theta is balanced by opposite force that there are given the mg that is t0 cos theta is equal to mg that is our second equation understand everyone because this is very very simple and the equation is from diagram remember always all equations are from diagram so diagram is very important because this diagram gives this equation and this equation gives the final equation okay so dividing equation 1 by equation 2 very simple step dividing the first equation by the second equation what we have here are given that first t0 sin theta t0 sin theta as it is is equal to this m r omega square m r omega square as it is upon this second equation that is t0 cos theta t0 cos theta is equal to this mg as it is okay after that what is here we remember that remember that that is m get cancelled to this m and t0 also cancel to this t0 which is the remaining term there are remaining this term only r omega square upon g that is r omega square upon g is equal to this side that is the sin theta upon cos theta sin theta upon cos theta but remember that in that equation g is the denominator term so this side becomes multiplied 
and r is the multiply this side comes divide so what we get from that equation omega square is equal to that is the g is divide this side comes multiply that is g upon this r into sin theta on cos theta that is equation number 3 But the next point is very important, and the next point is from this diagram. How we can find that point from figure A and figure B? Sine theta. Everyone know the formula for sine theta, cos theta, tan theta. Sine theta is from sine upon hypotenuse. Here we have to find the sine theta. Only sine theta from this angle. Here are given the sine theta. That is the front side is R. That is C B. That is R front side upon this hypotenuse. That is the L. Hence we get the sine theta is equal to R upon L. Understand it well. Formula is very important. Sine theta is equal to front side upon hypotenuse. Hence here are we have to find this angle. That is front side is this radius. That is the small R. And here are given the hypotenuse. That is the capital L. That is sine theta is equal to small r on capital L. That is radius is equal to R, this radius. That is this r is equal to multiply of that two factor. That is r here into this sine theta that is here into this sine theta is the value of r. Put this r in equation number three. That means we have to put here the value of r. What is the value of r? R is the L sine theta. R is equal to L sine theta. Put the in that equation we get omega square. Same equation omega square into is equal to g into sine theta. G into sine theta upon this R. What is the value of R? Capital L sine theta. That is capital L sine theta into this cos theta. That is cos theta. But from this equation. Some step are cancelled. Which step are cancelled here? That is sine theta cancelled to this sine theta. The remaining term R omega square is equal to G upon this L and this cos theta. That is the G upon L cos theta. But everyone know that we have to take here the square root. That we have to take the square root. How we get taking the square root? Here are given the square root. That is omega is equal to under root. That is g here cos theta. That is omega. That is the value of omega. So we get the value of omega. But everyone know that. That is very important formula. We already studied in the eleventh standard. That is the periodic time. Or the period is given by two pi by omega. So we have to put this value here. Put this value here. What we get? That is two pi upon under root the g upon l cos theta. But this is divided. After rotating, it becomes multiply. What we get? The final equation that is t is equal to two pi into this l cos theta upon g. It is becomes rotating of this equation. Okay. But if you know that the relationship between frequency and time. Or the periodic time, the frequency is inversely proportional to the periodic time. The equation is very important because the periodic time and the frequency are related by the given equation that is L is equal to one upon t. That is the periodic time and the formula for periodic time given that two pi into under L G cos theta upon G. That means one upon this. The equation that is two pi under root L cos theta upon G. This is divided after rotating it becomes multiply. So we get that is L is equal to multiply becomes we get two pi under root G upon L cos theta. That is only change this term that is G upon L cos theta. That is the equation for frequency. Remember that we get the in conical pendulum the equation for periodic. And that is P, and the equation for the frequency. In board exam examination, there are numericals on the same point. Okay, this is very very simple equation. I give in front of you. Prepare with well manner. There are uh, 
doubt to anyone, comment in the comment box.